afternoon, students and staff, and welcome to Fist News. I am Tanaya, and today is Thursday, March 18, 2021. Let's begin today's show. Good afternoon, Fitzgerald students and staff. My name is Savannah. This is a reminder for all ladies interested in playing softball this spring. Tryouts begin March 22nd. See Coach Smith if you have any questions. Attention all National Honor Society members. If you have not yet picked up your t-shirt, please do as soon as possible. You can pick them up in the main office between the hours of 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. And also for the National Honor Society members, your NHS community service hours are due to Vice President Noor or Ms. Gilchrist no later than Monday, May 3rd at 3 p.m. All NHS members are required to do two roadside cleanups. Bags and gloves are available in the main office if you need them. Your next NHS meeting is Monday, March 22nd. Attention seniors, this is a reminder to turn in your community service hours and pay any existing fines. The deadline is May 1st to turn in any community, so community service hours or money owed to the main office. This is a reminder, the main office is open every school day from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. Hey students, the Multicultural Showcase is back. This year, it will be held virtually. If you are interested in participating, please contact Ms. Van Gorder for, more, for the next steps. You can sing, dance, beatbox, play the harmonica, show off your cultural clothing, and more. Email Ms. Van Gorder for more information. Students, there are so many great ways to get involved at Fitzgerald, whether it's virtually or in person. The Fitzgerald Garden is growing strong. If you would like to learn, if you'd like to earn community service hours and help out with the Fitz Garden this spring, please attend the meeting on Tuesday, March 20th after school. You can attend the meeting virtually or in person. Contact Ms. McDonald for any more information. The Garden Club isn't the only way to get involved. Maybe video games are more your thing. If so, check out the Video Game Club. The club meets virtually on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 until 4.15 every week. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Kleinschmidt, join up, and meet other Fitz gamers. And speaking of games, attention all sophomores. Mark your calendar. Sophomore Council will be hosted an online game night on Friday, March 26th at 7 p.m. Stay tuned to Fritz News for more details about this fun night for the class of 2023. Hey students, you can now sign up for the Wayne State C2 Pipeline Virtual Summer Camp. There are many camps available and you can attend at 90 or even 100% discount. Contact Miss Abby, our C2 Pipeline mentor, for more information. Now let's turn things over to Fitz News reporter Hong, who is standing by with Coach Penner from the bowling team. Hong? Hi everyone, I'm Hong and this is Mr. Pender. I'm from Fish News. Today I'm interviewing him about the bowling team. So Mr. Pender, when did your season start and end? Uh, the season this year started in uh, late January because of the COVID uh, pandemic. It started late and it ends uh, late March, March 24th. Right, so what made you want to coach the bowling team? Well, I like uh, helping the kids to, and the student athletes to advance and uh, learning more about the sport of bowling and uh, become a better bowler. Uh, it's a good way to uh, show off or uh, to pass along some of my skills and knowledge in the sport of bowling to help uh, the young athletes who are bowlers to understand more of what the game is about other than just rolling the bowling ball and knocking down some white pins, you know. It's, it's a lot that goes into it and I like, you know, passing on that knowledge and information to the young youth and those who have skills who are you know, already pretty good at bowling to help enhance their abilities. And those who are not as good, you know, to enhance their abilities as well. Yeah. Some students may, may want to go on to college and, you know, it's an opportunity.
opportunities for scholarships to even enroll in college, and a lot of students don't know that. So, are you recruiting more members? Uh, this year, I wasn't able to, but uh, that's that's the plan to always try to recruit because of the pandemic. You know, most students were doing virtual schooling, so they weren't actually in the schools for me to be able to reach out like I normally would to get recruits. But I have to thank uh, the, the bowling members who returned from last year who bowled on the team who reached out to some of their friends in the school who were interested in coming out to bowl. Uh, we have 13 bowlers all together between the boys and girls teams. All right, I appreciate so, that from them. All right, so that's it. Thank you for your time, and I'm home. Thank you for the time for watching. Now back to you guys at the studio. Thanks, Juan. Great season, Fitzgerald Bowlers. Well, that's it for today's Fist News. We will see you here back next week with more important school information. Have a great day, everyone.